John's first letter, chapter 4. In this chapter, John refers to the spirits of the world who would lead us astray, especially those who deny the incarnation, the crucifixion, the resurrection, and the coming again of Jesus. But if we belong to Christ, then we know that Jesus came in the flesh, died, and rose again, as we say regularly in the Creed. If we truly believe and belong to God, then living in love is a way of life. This chapter explodes with love and the effect that it has on the way we live our lives. 1 John chapter 4 Dear friends, don't believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they're from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that doesn't acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist which you've heard is coming and even now is already in the world. You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They're from the world and therefore speak from the viewpoint of the world and the world listens to them. We are from God and whoever knows God listens to us but whoever's not from God doesn't listen to us. This is how we recognize the spirit of truth, the spirit of falsehood. Dear friends, let us love one another for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever doesn't love doesn't know God because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one's ever seen God, but if we love one another, God loves in, lives in us and his love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He's given us of his spirit. And we've seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. And this is how God is love is made complete among us, so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love. But perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. And he's given us this command. Anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, it would be so wonderful if we could just unscrew the filler cap of our lives and allow you to just pour yourself in. And yet, Lord, that's exactly what you did, what you made available to us on the cross. Help us today to open up our lives to you in such a way that your love will not only fill us but overflow to our brothers and sisters in the church, 
in our community and in our world. Amen.